Hello, my name is Emma and on behalf of Inclusive Intergenerational Dance and Arts for Health Company, I'd like to welcome you to this singing and music session. As part of Dementia Action Week, we are working in collaboration with Surrey Libraries to bring a series of digital creative art sessions for people living with dementia, their families and their carers. We've been taking inspiration from the Reminiscence Collection held at Surrey Libraries. This is a vast collection of objects, pictures, flashcards and games created to be used to support anyone living with dementia or memory impairment. Today's singing session is using the theme of more sort of classic and traditional songs. This is in hopes that it would be suitable for a range of uh, different people from different backgrounds as well as different uh, generations to hopefully take part and have fun. I'll try and make all activities as inclusive as possible and give extra suggestions for any family friends and carers that may be supporting someone on more of a one-to-one -one basis in the sessions with sort of more advanced dementia. One more thing I'd like to say is that music can be very personal and the songs that I bring today may not be suitable for the person you might be supporting. So I, I really suggest that everyone tries to go on a bit of a musical journey and try to find different music and sounds, I guess essentially maybe build a playlist or a soundscape that can support the person with dementia and to support their well-being as well. So before we get stuck into singing songs, uh, let's start with a warm-up. And when singing, it's important to think about our whole body and how we can connect with that as well. So we'll be looking at a mix of physical warm-ups as well as vocal warm-ups. But we're going to start by physically warming up our bodies and we're going to focus on the shoulders and the chest. So to begin with, just start by rolling your shoulders forwards around and backwards around and just keep switching between the two. And maybe if you are supporting someone that might struggle with this, please do, if it's appropriate, maybe just connect with the shoulder and just gently touch and rub as well and see if you can encourage some movement there by physical touch. But please do always check and ask permission and make sure that they're happy for you to do so. Good, let's do a couple more times. So we're thinking about opening and stretching out our chest and sort of the top half of our body. Good, okay, let's move further up. Let's go to our neck next. So just think about stretching our muscles here. So I want you to get your finger and just pop it on the top and in the middle of your head as if you're about to pivot from that point. And we're just gonna gently look from left to right so really trying to stretch all these uh, muscles out. I wonder who sat next to you. Can you give them a, a cheeky smile or can you pull a, a funny face at them? Can you make them laugh? And again, if this is a little bit too much for anybody, can you yourself as a friend, family member or carer, can you encourage that movement and that sort of change in the visual aspects for the person by moving from side to side and see if they'll follow you? And maybe bring in some sort of playful interactions if, if that suits. Good. Now we're going to bring our fingers to the middle near our ears. We're just going to look up to the sky and down. Brilliant. And again, can you help encourage sort of that movement and that direction as well? Wonderful. The last thing we're going to do, we're going to get a little bit silly. Um, and I do this a lot when I run choirs on Zoom. So if you are doing this online, please do feel free to get quite close to your camera um, as it ends up making everyone giggle. But can we? Um, make our sort of faces really stretch out and smile so really widening almost with a, a sort of wow look on our faces so ready let's do this together one two three and now crunch your face up really tight like a lemon as if like yeah as if you've tried lemon and you don't like like the taste sorry i should explain that better and again let's open up our faces really wide so really stretching and really scrunched up don't like the taste Brilliant. I wonder, again, can you bring in your own ideas? Please do pause the video, uh, rewind it, stop it. Can you bring in different ideas? Maybe someone else is doing something in a group or whoever you're working with. Can you copy that? Can they initiate some other ideas as well? So by doing that, we think of all the muscles in our faces that we can kind of wake up and connect with. And again, if that is too much, um, and this might be tricky because of COVID, um, but please do check if it's appropriate. Maybe just touching sort of the cheeks and just sort of connecting to those parts of the body and maybe the forehead as well. 
brilliant so hopefully that's a little bit of a physical warm-up and um, we can also if we're playing instruments and things like that because obviously vocal um, abilities words and sounds might not actually be available to everybody so please do encourage any body percussion so we've got lovely sounds on our chest so lovely bassy sounds we can click we can clap we can tap our legs all of that should be welcome in any singing and music session as well so um, one thing I'd like to say is that we should be focusing on the can-dos of the people that we may be supporting. Um, and maybe that's even ourselves, sort of what can we do? Please don't worry about what you can't do and whether it's good enough. So thinking about sort of instrument playing and body percussion, let's just wake our hands up as well. So stretch them out in front of you. Wonderful. And what I'd like you to do is just rub them gently together. So we're just thinking about that kind of connection to this part of the body, getting some blood flowing, some, some heat maybe. Um, and again, if you're supporting someone, if they're happy for you to do so, do just rub their hand maybe on both sides to see if you can get that connection, make eye contact um, and see if anything comes through with the engagement there. Brilliant. And once that feels good, stretch them out in front of you and let's just do some twinkly fingers, maybe moving them up to the sky, out to the sides and down low to our toes. And again, as I said before, please see what other people are doing. Maybe you've got some good movements going on that you can copy. So trying to bring the person into the centre of any session and bringing their ideas in. So do pause and stop and do whatever you wish with the video. And again, if twinkly fingers is a little bit tricky, maybe as someone supporting, we can just trace the outline of each finger, trying to wake up each one um, as well. So once we're happy with that, we've stretched our bodies, we've stretched our necks and our faces, we'll start thinking about our voices. So one thing that I like to do to warm my voice up is using a siren sound. So we start by taking the word sing. So can you just say the word sing? Sing. Good. Sing. And what we're going to do is take the ing sound from sing and we're going to turn it into a siren sound. So just find that ing and it's sort of a mm, almost a closing in a way of the sort of vocal sounds at the back of your throat so sing sing ing mm. so that's the sound we're looking for and what i like to do is play with pitch um, and movement and just trying to sort of see, explore how low we can go with our voices up high and again this is meant to be quite a playful thing that there's not particularly a right or wrong way that you know, I would expect anyone to do this. It's um, just about having fun. So I take my, my pointy finger and I start quite low and I move it with the pitch. So if I start here with the ing sound, I'll go So can you see and hear and feel that movement again? Maybe you could um, try and copy my movement. Can you think of any of your own? And if this is a little bit tricky, maybe we can use sort of a, a touch to sort of create that shape, maybe going up one finger and then coming back down another. So just trying to find different ways that people can engage with sound. Let's give it a couple more goes. So as low maybe as you can go, maybe you can go lower than I can. Just exploring that range of our vocal sounds we've got. So good. And you might need to take a deep breath in before that. So I call them belly breaths. So making sure when you breathe in just before an activity that you can feel it in your tummy and feel that sort of expanding there as well. So let's have one more go. Nice big breath in. Ready? Sing. Brilliant. So that's one way you can explore your voice and you can have a lot of fun with this. So other shapes you can draw, especially maybe if you're working with children as well, and sort of thinking intergenerationally that it could be a playful sort of activity. Um, I've actually drawn some shapes, so I hope I'll come around a little bit closer so you can see. So I've got one sort of wiggly, wavy shape there, and also a loop, the loop shape. And I hope this is in focus of the camera. <laughs> So let's have a go at just singing those two shapes. So you can draw them on paper, you can draw them in the air um, if you find it helpful and a bit of fun. So let's try our wiggly shape. Hopefully you can see that there. So we're going to start and go up and down. So thinking of up and down movements in our pitches. So ready, we're going to go sing. 
Good, let's do that again. Are you ready? Hopefully you can see this. We're gonna go sing. Fantastic. And let's do one more, bit silly. Let's do our loop the loop. So we'll start here, we'll go up and round and down. So think about the sound that could go with that kind of movement as well. So this is, this is my idea anyway. We'll go sing. So maybe making that part at the top a little bit faster. Ready? Should we try it one more time? Here we go. Sing. Brilliant. So again, it's very exploratory, but a fun way to just to start creating uh, sounds. So we've done sort of longer sounds in that siren sound, but maybe we could focus on um, some shorter sounds. So I think let's use the sounds yo and o. Oh. So thinking of them sort of a little bit shorter. Um, and we'll go yo, o, 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 o. So let's just stay on that same pitch just to get the sound. So o, lovely o's. <laughs> Here we go. Yo, o. Good, last time on that note, and we'll start getting a little bit higher in pitch. Ready? Yo, oh, 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 oh. Good, let's go up another pitch. Yo, oh, 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 oh. Yo, oh, 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 oh. Great. Yo, oh, 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 oh. Yo, oh, 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 oh. Just you. So as you can see there, just a really short O sound, so just trying to change the shape of the mouth and the vocal cords as well. But maybe you can think of other different patterns um, that you could sing and assign different sounds to them. Um, again, I might have mentioned this already, but words and lyrics and singing might be quite hard for some of us. And that doesn't mean that we can't engage with singing and vocal work either. So please do bring in sounds that maybe person with dementia uh, uses um, in more sort of an intuitive way, maybe um sounds, maybe they like to sing with do's and dats. All of those are welcome and just to say that later on when we do the songs, if the lyrics are too hard, please do follow the, the melody by using sort of different sounds and exploring a little bit more there as well. Okay, so before we get stuck into the songs that we'll do together today, I just wanted to uh, share some information about instruments that you can use. So we've spoken a little bit about body percussion with the clapping and tapping, but maybe you do have instruments available. So oh, there's mine. I've got a tambourine. Please do encourage tambourine. And when you think about playing instruments, don't worry about more conventional ways. You know, think of multi-sensory. How does an instrument feel? How does it look? Really allow people to explore the instrument in their own unique ways. Um, as I keep saying, there's not a right or wrong way when it comes to this kind of music making. So thinking about that. Um, and not everyone might uh, may have an instrument available to them. So do get creative at home. Um, and I just want to show you, it's a little bit well loved. It's a little bit squished actually. It's a hummus pot with popcorn seeds in, but it makes a lovely shaker. So maybe you have different things lying around at home or maybe in a residential home, things that you can get a little bit creative with. So if I show you, I've just put some, um, some stickers on the front. Hopefully you can see that, just to cheer it up a little bit and held it together with sellotape. But also um, it's quite a nice way for multi-sensory sort of sound making and minimal movements are really nice with this as well. You can actually pop your finger in and feel all the different seeds. So do get creative and um, don't be afraid of more exploratory sound making. Um, but obviously one thing I will say is um, there might be a need for supervision if they do have little parts in, um, I don't know, you don't want anything going in mouth or being eaten that's not meant to be eaten, so please do be mindful with that. But have fun with making your own sound makers. Um, I also have a peanut butter tub as a drum. Um, there's lots of items that we have around the house that we can use to create instruments. So for the last song, I've actually been a little bit cheeky and it's actually three and one. So we're going to do um, Owen the Saints, Swing Low Sweet Chariot and This Train is Bound for Glory. Um, and the reason I chose this is actually 
um, all three songs fit really nicely on top of each other and if you're working in pairs and threes or a small group you can actually sing it as a round and hear all the melodies on top of each other. Unfortunately I don't have anyone to do that with, um, with me here today but please do maybe have a go at singing a different part over the top of what I'm singing and see how it sounds or do stop the video and try it in your own time at, at um, home because it is really fun to do. Hopefully these three songs, you at least know one of them, if not all three. So please do join in by singing, playing any uh, instruments or sound makers and body percussion too. Uh, so here we go. you can have a little bit of fun with that um, in your own time at home and trying out all the different parts and again it's a nice one to do with movement um, so obviously when the saints you can do marching swing low you can maybe sway and swing your arms and then this train obviously you can do sort of train movements there so again it's quite nice if you are maybe thinking of intergenerational work and thinking about movement to music too 
So that's it uh, from me today. Thank you so much for joining me on this singing session and I hope you have fun and I, I really do hope you continue your musical journey outside of these sessions. Um, music is a really amazing tool that I think we can all access um, if we want to, to sort of help support our well-being. So please do have fun and I hope that maybe we can do this one day in person. Thank you.